today with you again, Emil. And Nick. And today we're gonna cook the stroganoff. And we're gonna make it easy. And this is the way how we like it. So what we're gonna need today? Uh, we're gonna use actually today like some red wine. Okay. Egg noodles, yellow onion, a little bit thyme, mm -hmm. olive oil, butter, flour, and we're gonna use actually salt and pepper. I'm just gonna add it. And the main here. ingredient gonna be steak, ribeye, right. beef. Right. This is the what makes it a little bit special because this is the best meat you can buy. Yeah, like it's most important stuff. I can say that because like if you're gonna buy like some kind of chip of beef, it's gonna be like total different. Okay. So let's get started. Yep, let's start. Let's start with onion. We're gonna dice it today. So now the chief gonna chef, uh, show us how easy and how quick to peel the onion, basically to, yeah. Who is chef? You, 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 you're a pro. That... <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke which I ever heard. <laughs> yep, let's try. I never do like this, but yeah, this is the faster way yeah, you, you, you can do faster it. faster way, easiest way, like how I say, I like make it easier, make it faster, and trying to make it better. Yep. Uh, we're gonna just put some long slices first. Okay. And more slices on another way. Uh -huh. And it's gonna become like almost perfect cube. But we don't need nothing perfect here, like because anyway we're gonna fry it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So we just need some onion. Some like. Pretty small size, I'm, I would say, like, but nothing yeah, crazy. Yeah, smaller is better, and it's easy. but yeah, just make it easy how you like it. Like, actually, it's yeah. So the main idea is like to keep it um, simple, so everyone can cook it, and you know, there is nothing you need to learn. You need to take some courses. Oh yeah. my goodness, you start crying. Yeah, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> okay. Next step, we're gonna need some mushrooms. So we're gonna use. Bella baby mushrooms. You can actually buy like whole one, mm -hmm. but I prefer use sliced one already because it's gonna save a lot of your time. But you can use any mushrooms actually. Some people use shiitake mushrooms, some people use white mushroom. Like I prefer Bella baby mushroom sliced. Okay, okay, yep. let's take mushrooms. Yep. First of all, we're gonna char a little bit our onions first, and after we're gonna add our mushrooms. Okay. We're gonna use olive oil, like usual. Yep. <laughs> Slices is just much regular, more easier. Yeah, it's Beba. already perfect slice. Baby Bella. <laughs> Baby Bella. <laughs> Baby Bella. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. We're going to take our olive oil. Can we pass it to me, please? Yeah, sure. We're going to put around two, one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. I like to use like already preheated pan. Mm -hmm. So this is a iron, cast iron, right? Yeah, with some special animal or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like it actually. How it's work for yeah, yeah. cooking. So regarding the olive oil, do you use like extra virgin or like what yeah, type actually, of oil or light? Always use extra olive extra virgin? virgin olive oil because it's better. Okay. I don't like use any mixed oil. I don't like canola oil. Okay. So yeah, guys, just take regular extra virgin oil and for my opinion, avocado oil and olive oil, it's like one of the best options. Yeah, sure. Sure. We're gonna so, chart our onion. 
just a little bit while it's gonna like change a little bit like like a little bit yellowish yellow. color mm -hmm. on the same time we're gonna take our garlic can you pass it to me please sure we need around like um, three gloves of garlic okay not much but so you guys from previous video already know how to peel the garlic the easiest if not, way we're gonna show it again yeah <laughs> Yeah, just how I say, make it faster, make it easier, make your life easier. It's kind of life hack. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Yeah, take your garlic, smash, mm -hmm. smash, and one more time. <laughs> That's it. Cut the back of a garlic. It's gonna peel much more easier. Look, look on that. Oh, yeah, you, you don't need to keep it, it you know, just beautiful and just you know perfect. You need to. You're gonna char it. Yeah. You know, maybe. like you don't need perfect you. And even I gonna like just slice it because we need just like a flavor from our garlic. You know. Yeah, and it's already activated the flower yeah. of the garlic, so you can. Yeah, when you smash it, it's smell it. Activated faster, I can say that. This is not kind of the dish which you're gonna, you know, eat and then go to the disco club and hoping to get in close with some girls. Actually, you're not, uh, you're not gonna feel like any garlic smell because we're gonna char it, we're gonna boil it, we're gonna simmer it. Like it's. You're gonna feel a garlic flavor, but you're gonna feel a different way. So it's. You, it will kind of merge into different you know, ingredients, right? So it will be not like strong garlic presence. Yeah, because it's it not going to be a fresh rough one, you yeah. know? Okay. Just come back to our own. But I wouldn't risk that either. It's all ready to take some color, how you can see. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's already i can say it yeah it starts become more yellow so it's almost time yeah you feel it's even smell of onion change already color change it's not white anymore wow it's became I like can feel the smell this is really nice i actually like onion to put i mean onion makes everything better i mean except like cakes and so on but yeah <laughs> regular onion dishes. is the best thing like yeah can you pass our mushrooms, please? I guess it's perfect time for so them. So we're gonna start with the mushrooms. But before that, thank you for letting me know. Like right before mushrooms, like 30 seconds before, we're gonna add our garlic. Okay. Why? So you mean the 30 seconds before the onion gonna be ready, so we before can put the, gonna add add the mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Why are we doing it? Because burn garlic, it's too easy and too fast to do it. Okay. And so. he just wanted to give it flavor like real, real fast. And when you're gonna add your mushrooms, mm -hmm. he's gonna give like extra liquid. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. That's you good see? to know. You feel it already? Smells came. If yeah, you're yeah, yeah. You can feel it mix garlic and onion already. Yep. I'm already excited. Right so now, now we, we can put, put the our mushrooms. mushrooms. Should I put all of them? Please. Okay. Yep, let me help it too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. You see? Same second, it start to give liquid. You see? Yeah, mushrooms is basically always giving a lot of liquid. And the most important stuff is don't salt. forget to put some salt. <laughs> Some people like add it on the end, but it's not the way how we prefer it, because if you add something, please to salt it, at least a little bit. Yeah, yeah, salt It's going to work better on the end, you know. Okay, and my like... Uh, and so, what now? We're going to leave it for, for a while, or...? We're going to, like, lower down our heat. Okay, so put on we're going to start our like my favorite part is opening beautiful wine bottle okay can you help okay, me yeah that? let's do it pass it in please so we 
we gonna start with wine? Yes, pass okay. it in, please. So, I see it's a red wine. It's not about the brand, but it's a just red wine. And wonder why do we have a red but not white? Uh, actually, some people adding wine to this and some not, but most of people who are adding wine, they adding white one and they adding some extra stuff. I just like make it easier. When you adding red wine, it's gonna give you like extra more flavor. Just, just try it, you're not gonna regret it, believe me. Actually, it doesn't matter which kind of red wine you're gonna use, any type which you have at Should home. Should it be like sweet or dry or what is it? I, I know that is not exactly the sweet wine, right? Because like this is it's not It's everything natural. about your preference. But for me, it's not a big difference because we're gonna add like a lot of stuff which gonna like create all this flavor. Yeah, actually some people gonna be so picky about that. But how I say, we're trying to make it easier. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. Let's open it. Okay. Can you pass me knife, please? to not skip steps like everything is gonna help you to create flavor to make it easier faster you know can you mix mushrooms just a little sure. bit while sure. doing it? i can do that i can mix it you know like it's not i it's not about like perfect proportion about how much wine we need to add or not just make sure you cover enough like um, bottom of your pan we just wanted to add wine to mushrooms and simmer it to help the mushrooms to absorb all flavor of the wine like give some liquid yeah yeah it's some juice yep mushroom juice some people um, like to char mushrooms mm -hmm. before add wine mm -hmm. I don't see real like different with that because it's everything about flavor wine gonna give like a lot of flavor to hold your dish it's up to you. If you want to, you can char it, but make it easier. Just yeah, add so your wine. We, we don't want to make it complicated. So our goal is to uh, basically show you how you can cook uh, very nice dishes, which you can, you know, see in some really fancy restaurants, but it's going to be much, much easier to cook. And it's not that complicated. You need very fancy uh, ingredients very expensive so everything you can buy in your local grocery store here yeah. and this is our goal to show you the simple but at the same time it's gonna be tasteful it's gonna taste <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's gonna taste like a Michelin dish right Michelin two star three star I don't know what is the star measurement let, let it be five stars I hope some stars <laughs> I hope some stars, yeah. And you give a thumb up if you like our videos and Please. yeah, subscribe to the channel so you can see more and more. Yeah. Let's add our wine. Okay. So how much do we need wine? It's approximately around half of cup. Okay. Uh, actually, you're not gonna feel any alcohol of wine here mm -hmm. because our goal to sim it. Okay. And all alcohol is gonna be evaporated. Mm -hmm. And mushroom gonna be absorb all this beautiful wine flavor, one taste. You'll see it later. Okay. I'm just gonna close with the lid. Just gonna open like real hole for 
make it vaporize it faster. Okay. So how long do we keep it in this way? Actually, you're gonna feel it because right now, if you smell it, mm -hmm. did you feel alcohol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel alcohol? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. can feel it. But while you're gonna stop to feel alcohol smell, mm -hmm. it means that's it. It's All time. Alcohol is okay. Okay. And you're gonna see your mushrooms is gonna change color, like it's gonna reduce the liquid. You'll see. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Our second best part is of making this stuff. Yeah. Let's do the meat. gonna start with the meat and this meat was for a while in the freezer I would say like for 20 minutes 30 minutes 20 something like minutes, that yeah. yeah so what is the purpose to keep it in a freezer uh, it's easier for you to make perfect slice I can say don't freeze it full away just put it for 20 30 minutes before like how big is your steak size beef mm -hmm. and just okay. go start slice it. Okay. Oh, I see you got a new... Uh, cutting board? Yeah, cutting board. And it's not from the wood anymore, so... Uh, the reason is because <laughs> wood, it's absorb everything. And mm -hmm. I would like to use wood f cutting board just for some veggie fruit stuff, you know, like maybe for some cheese or bread, but not for raw protein because it can absorb like some microbes mm -hmm. and I don't want to put like hard chemicals to clean it. That's why plastic option is not bad too. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You see, it's already became stronger, but mm -hmm. you still can easier to cut it. Look. Okay, so it's going to be like perfect pieces. Yeah, you easy see? Easy to cut because, yeah, you see? nice. You see? And uh, so the, basically the steak is really soft meat. So if you do not like, you know, a little bit freeze it, so it's going to be like plain in your hands and you're yeah. not going to be able to make like even beautiful, even pieces, right? Yeah, it's actually not about beautiful pieces. <laughs> of course, for who you cook this stuff, it's about to... Easier and even, right? Yeah. You're gonna cook it faster, you know, gonna like boil it for a long time, you know. Mm -hmm. And we using the ribeye steak. You can buy like, if you don't like really fat, you can buy New York strip, but basically the ribeye is much more softer than the You know York. what, like you can buy like cheap type of wine, like expensive, it's not going to change a lot of flavor, but beef is like, it's most, most important stuff. That's why I try to not buy cheap type of beef. But <coughs> we can use like cheap wine or for example, to take, use different type of mushrooms. So yeah, uh, the steaks, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter actually the meat, but basically we would like to keep it, you know, more. Yeah, actually, you can buy a cheap one, but yeah, don't. yeah. So, but don't yeah, if, if you buy better quality meat, I believe it will not spoil the food and it will will be a little bit better. Yeah, it's actually. gonna be softer. So no, yeah, you know. you'll see. It. Okay, we have our meat cut. It. Yep. So now what? Uh, we are gonna fry it? Yeah, we are gonna. Um, Char just a little bit just for color. Okay. I'll show it to you. Let's okay. do it. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna add around one tablespoon of our olive oil, version mm -hmm. one. So the one thing, uh, as you can see, we're using the stainless steel uh, fry pan, which we like really. And this is already preheated, so make sure you if you see. have it, if you have the same type of fry pan, make sure to preheat it. If it's like other non-stick, some, I don't know, like brand, okay. you, you're fine, but yeah, this is what we do. You see how it's smoking? Okay, yeah, so it means yeah. the oil is already... 
So now we are in our steak. Piece by piece. Yeah, this is don't want to throw everything over there because it's going to start give extra water to extra liquid. Okay. And you don't want to boil it. You just want to start way to char. Mm -hmm. Just a little before color for extra taste. Okay. That way I just didn't throw everything together. It's gonna take just about a couple of minutes. Look. Uh -huh. It's so all it's, it's already getting a color you see? You see? Yeah, so if your fry pan was preheated really well, so you don't need much time, it's like basically 30 seconds up to minute each side. Maybe yeah. less uh, even and it's the best. Yeah. It just will make some fried layer on top each side and give it to go. Yeah, this is it's already beautiful, right? Beautiful just color. Just 30 seconds, just because it's already what's like, thinking. Yeah. If it's going to be cold one, it's going to get soggy if like okay. liquid, you know? Let's see how our mushroom is going with wine. Smell it again, please. And tell me which different you feel. Oh, and yeah, I mean, you see. Yeah, right now I don't really feel the alcohol, but it's mostly like a mushroom smell, but mushroom is something. You know, it's. I love it because it's mushroom color. It's very rich. Yeah, it's a bit deep black red. I would say, but yeah, it's violet, yeah, like, uh, some violet, but yeah, I'm, like, <sighs> I'm already hungry. <laughs> uh, actually, it depends on you, you can like simmer a little more, like reduce more wine, like it depends how you like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer to reduce a little bit more liquid to absorb more flavor. Mm -hmm. So, how long do we still gonna cook it? Mm, five, ten minutes, it depends like of your pan, of how much wine you add, how much mushroom you add, but you'll see. When you try to see like on the bottom, it's nothing happened. We're gonna like reduce a little bit more, and we're gonna come back after five, ten minutes. See you later. We are back uh, to After 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes passed and we're ready to continue. Yeah. So let's see what we have. And look at the mushrooms, it's exactly what I'm telling you. Look, when I'm taking them, you can see bottom right now. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yep. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit liquid left, but. And right now this we can make we... like our next step. Okay, what is next step? Our next step, we're gonna use our butter. We're gonna use around like I can say four tablespoons. Okay. It's already melted a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You throw your butter. You can actually add a little more, but we already have heavy whipped cream. It has like already a little. Yeah, but inside, so and we're gonna use some flour. Uh, we're gonna use around like two, three tablespoons, it really depends like how much mushrooms you're gonna use, how much liquid you're gonna use, like mm -hmm. just if you're gonna see it's not enough thickness, just, just a make little your room. Yeah. yeah, so you, you can start by little by little and in like one yeah. tablespoon, two and three and if you need a little bit more, if you had a little bit more, uh, you know, liquid left, so you can then always like, you know, control it by yourself. And you want to ask me why we're adding butter and flour? Yeah, yeah, this is actually a good question. <laughs> yeah, like, why we're adding butter and why we're adding first? It's two important step because like, if uh, using flour to make like our sauce to more thicker, and if you're gonna mm -hmm. add it just straight to liquid, it's not gonna be like... It's gonna be more, more watery? No, 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 it's not gonna be absorbed creamy? all the way. You're gonna feel like this small 
crumbles like you know okay but if you're gonna put your butter first you're gonna melt it down mm -hmm. after you're gonna add your flour flour no oh, i got you what you mean so yeah, yeah. okay yeah so the basically water will make instant you know like uh, pieces of flour not really mixed like yep you know dissolved yep, yep. but okay well, you that's see? actually you see how it became real mm -hmm. you see yeah right that's now interesting. we're gonna add our heavy whipped cream okay for this amount i'm gonna add like around three cups or heavy whipped cream you can add actually a little whole milk but i prefer heavy whipped cream like some people using half and half like you can use what you prefer but how i say we're trying to make it easier and tastier yeah yeah and the more the basically it, it, i would say like heavy whipped cream gonna make it more creamier than just whole milk one more important step which gonna give you like bunch of flavor this is beef pro or beef base mm -hmm. doesn't matter which you gonna use you can use beef base beef pro is gonna give like already the same flavor but what's different if you're gonna add beef pro you need just simmer it a little bit more to make it more concentrated mm -hmm. when you're adding beef base it's much more easier and we're gonna add our beef base okay yeah so oh i say you can use beef pro but easier for you almost the same flavor beef base for this amount, we're gonna use, I can say, like one half tablespoon of beef base. You can use any brand, it's like, doesn't matter. You can add more, you can add less. Just add it to your taste. If you feel it real strong, like it became like stronger, stronger, stop to add it. If you feel like one half tablespoon is not enough for your amount, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But you need to feel this like beef flavor, you know? Like everything is important. And you see how liquid is that? While, yeah. mm -hmm. while it's gonna get boiled, it's gonna get more thicker. And right it's now. It's time for a meat. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna actually add our steak meat. We're gonna add all of them. Okay. We're gonna just make sure we have enough liquid for fully cover it. We're gonna lower down our heat, but making sure it's gonna be enough for make it boil. Mm -hmm. We need to simmer it not much, just like 5, 10, 15 minutes. Again, depend which kind of meat, how thick is that. Just try it. We're gonna cover it. And we're gonna leave it simmer slow right now we have already put our water for our noodles yes and today we're gonna to use our egg noodles egg like, noodles why is egg noodles actually it's a good question why is egg noodles like i could be struggling from different different places and it always was same type of noodles Actually, actually it makes it OEM original recipe. Uh, can you use a different type of noodle, like noodles? Actually, like you could for noodles. your own, you can do whatever you want to, but yeah, try yeah. to stick with the egg noodles. Okay. And again, doesn't matter which brand is gonna be, mm -hmm. it's gonna be good. One important thing about egg noodles when you compare like different type of pasta or macaroni, mm -hmm. the time to cooking boiling this type of egg uh, uh, noodles mm -hmm. it's like around five six minutes it depends on brand but like it's less than regular pasta or macarons 
And how usual, make your bottle real salsa. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just gonna wait when our water is gonna start boiling. We're gonna add our uh, noodles for five minutes to make it al dente. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. We're gonna mix it later. We're gonna come back after five minutes and gonna check how our water gonna start boiling. Yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, our mushrooms with a steak already done. Let's see what we have there. Yeah. It's already started to boil. Mm -hmm. And look how it became thick, you see? Yeah, that's you really see? thick and it's you like see? really good consistency. And why is it like that? Because of our flour. Okay, I was going to say like because of the heavy whipped cream, but we're gonna add a little yeah. bit of black pepper. I love black pepper. I'm yeah, sure black pepper is good. Everywhere. Just a little bit. Just on your taste. Yeah, how you like it? And we're gonna add like half a teaspoon thyme, and we're gonna add it special on the end because when you add it on the end, you don't lose a lot of flavor because. It's Yes. While it's boiling, while it's simmer, if you wanna add it before, it's kind of like loose flavor before it gets ready. You see? Yeah, that's really nice. Our destroyer really nice. is done. Color is beautiful, thickness is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. We're gonna put it in a low right now, just keep it heat before our egg noodles is ready. Okay. Yeah, actually we can we can leave it right here. Yeah. Or we can move it. Uh, let's leave it. Um, yeah. So our water is already um, it's really ready for uh, our noodles. So oh, this is the egg noodles. So the specially, how do you recognize them? Is they are like you know like curved with uh, it's I don't know really yellow, which means it has eggs. Yeah. And yeah, go ahead. Make sure you take your special because like what is boiling right now? It's real salty. It's too important to make it real salty. And it's too important to not add any oil on your water, just make extra amount of water and everything is gonna yeah. be good. Too important when you throw your pasta, noodles, macaroni, doesn't matter, start mix it on the same time is gonna prevent from take it together like throw it please okay yeah throw it all yeah. thank you thank you thank you we're gonna put our heat on the high on the maximum right now because you wanna bring water boiling faster yeah so they do not stick together yeah right? You and see, I mix it all the same so time. Mix it a yeah. little bit. I'm just closing it, but I'm staying here for make sure it's not gonna be like overflow. Because if you're gonna close it and leave it alone, it's gonna be create a lot of bubbles. It's gonna be like overflow everywhere. You don't want to do that. Close your lid to help it boil faster and just wait. You see, it's already starting yeah. to boil. Yeah. You see first bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Our noodles say like al dente, it's around five minutes. So, this type of noodles cook faster than the regular pizza. Yeah. Oh, I see. We're gonna put our timer for five minutes. Okay. Five minutes? Yeah. Five minutes to go. So, we have a, a, our beef stroganoff, beef with the sauce, mushrooms, and everything ready. So we're just waiting for the noodles to get ready as well and then we're gonna kind of merge it, join it together and show don't, you the final result. Don't forget to take your lid while it's there boiling. Don't forget to lower down your water here like... Uh, uh, when it starts boiling. Yeah, like uh, heating uh, level down because it's already boiling. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. while it's boiling, we have five minutes. In this five minutes, what are we gonna do? We're gonna chop our garden. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, like our good. dish should be like tastes good and looks good. Yes, yes. 
For garnish, we don't need that much stuff. We just need like small amount of parsley. Of course, it depends on you. Like you like more parsley, less parsley, or you don't like parsley at all. Actually, when you cook it for you, you can put cilantro instead of parsley. Nobody care. Yeah, yeah. So just use any type of. Anyway, it's gonna be good. Trust yeah. me. So it's for looking. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's dice our parsley. It looks beautiful, so this green color will give you some, you know, difference in colors and it's gonna look really good. Yeah, extra flavor, extra view, like, fast, easy, tasty, you know. Mm -hmm. And you can skip this step, actually. You better, man. <laughs> and our noodles is it's ready. Like ready. Okay. Yeah. Let's drain it. So we're gonna drain it. Yep. Be careful, it's really hot. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Take our same bowl. We're gonna do our perfect noodles. So we have a timer. Yeah. Stop it, please. We're gonna add a little bit of extra olive virgin oil. olive oil. Mm -hmm. Mix it. Yep. Good mix. Yep. And. Our story is ready? Yep. Let's see. Let's try it. Yeah. Our beef stroganoff is uh, egg noodles is ready. Let's try it. Yes. We're gonna add our pasta. That looks beautiful. And we're gonna add on top of pasta exactly that. Amount and amount. <laughs> that much. <laughs> Beef strong enough. Mm -hmm. That looks yummy. How we need. And we're gonna add some extra parsley on the top. Wow. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, let's do it. So, Zen, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Is this for you? You first. Okay. Da, 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 da. I don't know how to take it, but what do you think about it? Mmm. What do you feel? I feel mushrooms so creamy, but at the same time, the wine gave it really, really good taste. So thick. Oh my goodness, this is really good. You're gonna like it, guys. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and put thumbs up. Thank you for watching us.